Good morning, loves. I get to spend a few moments uh, outside of my, what used to be my meditation temple here on Spring Hill Farm this morning. So gorgeous today. But I wanted to just do a little bit of drip, drip, drop, little April showers <laughs> that nourish and cleanse and, and um, establish new life for a new season. And that's what's happening, okay? So as we enter into this um, establishing of the age of Aquarius and the next thousand years of peace and abundance and heaven on earth and happily ever after that every fairy tale story has ever been talking about ever, uh, that's what we're actually entering into. We're heading into that. Um, phase we're still we're still transitioning loves we're still transitioning um, so there's a lot of um, uh, stuff going on but when you think about it when you move into a new season everything is brand new and so you don't really know what you're doing and the rules change completely and you have to find a new way of doing things so that's my job that's my purpose that's why I'm here is to help um, help humanity navigate this living heaven on earth season. Um, simply not because everything is changing, so you have to fit in. And here's here's the catch: everything is changing, so you are free to create whatever living you want. No longer are you held in captive, forced to live a certain way in accordance with the death matrix of greed, hate, misery, oppression, and all that sort of stuff. Now you are free to create your life however you wish to create it. Pardon me while I have a little bit of dust in my eye. The catch about that, dust in your eye, what does the Bible say about that? You're so busy trying to take the log out of somebody else's eye that you don't even notice the dust in your own eye. So I need to be mindful I am not here to tell you what to do. I am simply announcing the fact that you get to live however you want. Now, the catch to that is, just like at the beginning, there were those who chose to take this beautiful Elysium and turn it into a death matrix. And you actually still have the power to do that. It's not just this present darkness or higher evolutionary beings or anyone else that that is able to do that to you. No, now you, 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 you are the powerful one, the advanced one, the one capable of creating life however you want to live it. Now, you might also be a bit of a, a child in that. You might also be... Um, a bit of a, a new adult not knowing what you're doing because nobody's told you what to do. So, um, I've recreated my life from scratch myself, uh, several times actually, and uh, this is a gifting of insight that Elohim has given me, so I want to share it with you. So now we get to gender. Okay, that's what this particular video is all about because honestly, there's so much, which is why I'm writing an encyclopedia on energy right now. So much work, so much, so much, so much, so much. So I'm just dripping, 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 dripping little drops of truth, um, like April showers in a new season of spring that will help to not flood, but nourish and cleanse. And so you can grow up baby new in this new season. All right. So gender is what I'm titling this about. Um, why do you think the peace symbol is what it is? So the peace symbol is a circle with a line down to the middle and then two lines off so it has like three equal segments to it. One, one on either side that look like lungs and then one in the, in the bottom like where the heart would be in, in association with the lungs. And Oh, isn't that interesting? That just came to me. So the, the lungs of breathing and then the heart that pumps life. Because they're, okay. If you are thinking in containment, um, there is, there isn't, and solid this, this, this. 
that's very masculine thinking and it's beautiful and it's wonderful and it has its place and its purpose and we need it. However, if you're thinking that things are a little more fluid and wishy-washy and not quite so contained and things leak in here and leak in there and we're kind of a little more expressive, that's very feminine thinking and that is beautiful and wonderful and perfect and exactly what we need, just like masculine energy. But please don't forget, if you don't speak Spanish or, any of the, or French or any of the other languages that actually have gender written into the language, you will already know. That bottom part of the P symbol, neutral. Masculine, feminine, neutral. Okay? Now these are not containers, however, they may contain. Think of them more like segments in a pie chart, okay? And the segments in the pie chart, they may have absolute boundaries where it stops being feminine and begins being masculine, where it stops being masculine and begins being feminine, stops being feminine, begins being neutral. But those boundaries aren't actually huge, massive walls that are solid. They're actually more like um, guidelines drawn on the ground where you can move freely over them as you wish and as you need, okay? Now, I'm not talking about genitals here. This is, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not part of the physical world very much. So whatever genitals you have, that's your business. What you do with your genitals, that's your business. <laughs> um, I'm talking about energy, the soul realms, your, your, how your, your intellect gathers information, how your uh, intuition senses and feels, and how your instincts, which is your gut brain, responds and reacts, okay? So, um, the genders are not set and solid. However, they can be. If you want to use your gender as set and solid, you are free and capable and magnificent and marvelous to create that for yourself. All right, you have the power. And within each segment, these segments of masculine, feminine, and neutral are so vast and large and big that there are many different versions of those within each of those segments, okay? So there's lots of different ways to be masculine. There's that you can be hardcore masculine, only masculine, 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 that's it. That would be like the outer rim of the circle of the peace symbol. Or you can be masculine who also leans towards a little bit of feminine and in that you deal with the things that are not obvious. So like a, a spy or a Navy SEAL is a very masculine energy that functions undercover and it functions in the secret places to get done what it needs to get done. In the secret places, undercover, the cover of darkness within, in the quiet secret place. That's the womb space, that is, because genitals are wonderful because they help us understand the soul realm. So the womb space of the feminine, often known as the yang, is, it, or the, the negative, or, or the dark, as a, it, the dark side, that's not evil. But if you're fully, fully 100% masculine, you might not understand it. It might not make sense to you. If you are fully, fully 100% feminine, then the masculine seems brash and rude and abrasive and in your face. And you're like, get that out of my face. Ew, 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 ew. And then you have the neutral who's like, what are you even arguing about? Like, whatever. <laughs> All right. Now, so each individual hue soul finds themselves somewhere in this pie chart. And remember, this pie chart is huge. It's like your property. Okay. Think you own, think of like you own a farm or a massive compound. Um, hello, Fonzie. Yes, darling. I did talk about the farm. Oh, you, okay. So Fonzie needs a little bit of love right now. 
Yes, so, okay. Oh, okay, we're going to give some love while I'm talking. <laughs> Are you snorting at me? <laughs> Apparently, this is like a commercial break, but it's a loving break. So instead of having commercials in my, in my videos, we have love breaks. All right, so can, can I, can, if, I if, you, if we snuggle? That's a good boy. Hide my cleavage. There we go. See, everything has purpose. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, my goodness. This is a long commercial break. All right, let's see if we can continue. <laughs> Back to our regularly scheduled discussion about gender. Um, where was I? <laughs> Love, neutral, neutral phases. Okay, so yes, you're, you're on a farm property. Your, your pie chart of masculine, feminine, and neutral is um, like your farm property in your soul, okay? And it is very, very important that we balance and find and explore and understand all three of those whole segments because it's it's not just like a thing because they also have seasons okay so you need to understand the masculine in season and the feminine in season and the neutral in season and move through all of those and use all of those so let me give you an example of of some things okay Fonzie I really need you to not be so distracting because this is actually not about you <laughs> Go figure. It's not actually about Fonzie. He thinks that's pretty rude. He just disagrees entirely. But anyway, this is about you. <sighs> All right. So let me give you an example of something that is where, th where, where we get in trouble with this. All right. So the masculine energies are amazing, glorious, grand, majestic beautiful masculine energies and they are dominant in times of war in times of peace however the feminine is dominant mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so for those of you who are masculine 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 who were born and made of the patriarchy because the patriarchy is simply an un, a lack of balance in masculine energies and everything out of balance causes things to topple and fall down and can become toxic okay so there's toxic masculinity there's toxic femininity there's toxic neutrality and the whole point is we want to heal all of that so we can have divine masculine health and divine feminine health and divine neutral health and then you can flow through that through the seasons and understand how to create your own abundance on a farm you have seasons you have birthing seasons you have planting seasons you have harvest seasons you have compost seasons you have quiet fallow seasons so okay you don't have to be afraid of being one thing and one thing only and, and anything else that is not you and anything else that doesn't think like you is wrong well maybe no it's just a different season okay so imagine with me a masculine in a time of war where uh, he has to protect his home all right so there is some oppression going on and he's got to get his war on he's, he's even got to get his feminine on and start strategizing and figuring how to do things out he doesn't tell everybody what he's doing he's doing it in the secret places and then he goes forth and boom he does this great masculine effort of dominating and conquering and he protects those he loves and he brings great abundance home and he defeats at those who are trying to you know oppress him and he's mighty and he's glorious and he's created this beautiful place of protectedness and then he comes home and guess what now he has peace and this masculine who believes that doing things in the secret place is dangerous only only doing things in the secret place is dangerous because you have to get out there to protect. You have to get out there and build the wall. You have to get out there and defeat your enemy. Well, when there's no enemy to defeat and they come back to a civilian world, now all of a sudden everything that they've been taught is wrong? No, it's not wrong. It's just out of season. You don't wear a winter coat on the beach in the middle of summer because you will die of heat exhaustion. You also don't wear a bikini in the middle of a frozen lake while it's 50 degrees below 
because you will die of hypothermia. Know your season. In the times of war, masculine is prominent. In times of peace, feminine is prominent. In those in-between times, in times of work, when we're focusing on the task at hand, neutrality is prominent. Okay? So when you're focusing on being hard and getting out there and penetrating, masculine power. When you're focusing on retreating and healing and nurturing, feminine power. When you're focusing on the task at hand that needs to get done, neutral power. And guess what? You get to use all of those. Now you might have a particular leaning towards one or the other naturally, because that's just the way your body has been wired and created and coded. You're beautiful. You're perfect. You're absolutely 100% magnificent. You might have a lot of healing that you need to do because there might be wounds. There might be holes in your fences that you need to mend. Um, you might have to fix the pH of your soil. You might get a disease that you've got to attend to. You might have a windstorm that comes through and blows everything down so you've got to rebuild again. Life is about seasons and flexibility and flow. And there is a time and a place to be hard and strong and powerful. And there is a time and a place to submit to the inner nurturing. And really all I want to say here as a very feminine woman, because I lean heavily towards femininity. Now I move into the masculine. I move into the neutrality when things need, when I need to get things done and when I need to penetrate and do something. Yeah, sure, I flexibly move into that. But I'm a very, very feminine woman because that's just how I was created. That's just who I am. I'm beautiful. So are you. But what I really want to say is for those of you who have been in a season where you've had to defend and protect and attack a very great darkness because there's been a very great darkness going on underneath it all. And you've had to do things a certain way because any because it's dangerous otherwise. See, that's the thing, the masculine energies. If they don't defend the walls and if they don't attack the enemy, it becomes dangerous. And they lose and the people they love get hurt and then they die. And, and it, it's a problem. It's a serious issue. And if you're wired and in the military where they completely break you down and rewire you to be a war monger so to speak that's what you are when you're a warrior because that's what your jo job is that's your task you got to focus on it you got to do it and you can be feminine and neutral and masculine in whatever task you're doing but just remember we're coming onto a time of peace love and you need to heal and attend to your ego because an ego which is that part that says me 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 because you have to pull strength to yourself and you've got to be strong and you've got to be powerful so that you can protect and you have to protect and, and keep safe. And it's dangerous if you're not. Well, love, there will come a time when you can let that go. Listen to the birds. Listen to the wind. There are no sounds of war here. There comes a time and seasons in our life where the masculine must surrender to the feminine. Not so the feminine can act like a masculine. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm, I'm tired and over that cliche. I am so over feminine energies trying to pretend to be masculine. No, be feminine. It's a completely different way of doing things. Completely different foreign, scary, un, uh, uh, un, unnoticed, un, uh, uh, you know, it, it's that quiet, just get life done. We just get life done. We grow in the secret places. We just do what we need to do and we continue. The feminines continue. Masculine rise and fall, rise and fall, rise and fall. They're either hard and, and fast or completely flaccid. Bless them. who you are okay we need you we need you but just remember 
the importance of understanding your own feminine, your own masculine, and your own neutral energies is so that you can know when, have the wisdom to know when, to surrender to the feminine in times of peace. Surrender to the neutral in times of work and effort and duty. And surrender to the masculine in times when you need to go forth and charge and be empowered. You can go forth and charge and be empowered in any of those energies, but you know what I'm talking about. Understand your self-love. If you are a very feminine person like me, we learn to flow in masculine and neutral energies as we need to. And remember, it's not just like one thing. No, it's, it's a massive, huge farm. And there are amazing, huge places that you can explore. Go explore. Explore your soul. 